love to start things off, I think the most important thing you can do to start your day off right is to have breakfast. For me, I can't live without having a coffee and some sort of small um, breakfast. I don't recommend having something large because then you might get sleepy or lazy, but to have something just enough to feel satiated is important so you don't feel hungry later on and then overeat later on in the day. Today, I'm just having some peaches and cream oatmeal with some almond milk. Another thing that I think some people may overlook is your attitude when starting the day. It's important to wake up and have a positive attitude and feel like you want to be productive and you, you want to get things done so that you actually go through with it. Half the time, your mind works against you when you tell yourself that, oh, I'm tired or I don't feel like doing anything. I think it's more beneficial if we start the day off with a positive outlook and so that the rest of the day can follow suit. So now what I'm doing is just basically cleaning. I think it's important that we keep our area that we're planning on studying clean. Um, I know some people have a separate area to study or a study room or a study desk, but I ordered a desk off of Staples and it hasn't arrived yet. So in the meantime, I'm just studying in my room and I want to make sure that my surroundings is clean. Sometimes I get a little distracted when things are dirty or when things are not in its right place and um, when there's like dust on the ground or hair because I shed a lot. So it's important for me to keep my area tidy so that I feel more at ease and more ready to work and to get things done. I know it can be hard studying or being productive by yourself. Well, at least it is for me. That's why I like to go to the library because I like surrounding myself with people who are also trying to be productive and trying to do work so I can emulate and feed off of their energy and their productivity and want to be productive too. Now that we're in quarantine, we don't have that luxury. So finding YouTube videos of people that are studying or trying to be productive can help emulate that same response. By seeing other people working, it would make you want to work as well and make you feel like you want to be productive too and you wanted to do work. So I think that's um, another tip that I definitely would recommend. There are some people on YouTube, or in my case Twitch, that actually record themselves studying live. So this is another way where you can study with someone else. In this case, the person is studying or being productive at the exact same time as you are. So in this case, you will hopefully feel more motivated and more inclined to do work because the person on the other side of the screen is actually doing work at the same time rather than it being just a recorded video. Um, this may not work for everyone, but this definitely works for me. It's also important to take breaks. Usually I take a long lunch break. I eat lunch leisurely while watching a movie, in this case Wedding Planner, but I also watch TV shows and YouTube or just anything to take my mind off what I'm currently doing. It's a nice change of pace and it helps give your mind a time to relax before going back and tackling what you need to get done later on in the day. In the late afternoon is when I usually feel the slumps. I get sleepy and I get tired and that's when I feel like I'm losing my productivity. I think in this case, if you're feeling sleepy or tired, it's important to just take a nap. I think a 15 to 20 minute nap provides much better use of your time than trying to plow through those 50 to 20 minutes and not get anything done. Um, your body doesn't want to focus and your body won't focus. So by taking this nap, I think it'll give you a better burst of energy to tackle the rest of the day. An app I use on the MacBook is the Stickies app. 
I use this app to write a to-do list of things that I want to accomplish that day. It's good because it keeps that sticky note on your desktop at all times, so it's easily accessible to you, so you don't have to spend time worrying about the things that you have to get done, and it's all laid out in front of you at the start every morning. Another app I recommend is the Be Focused app. It's a Pomodoro timer where it times 25 minute study sessions and 5 minute breaks. I do want to note, however, that this is just a guideline and that sometimes, especially for me, it takes more than 25 minutes to get what I want to get done. So use this as a loose guideline and if you need more time, take the time, but just remember to you to take breaks so that your mind can also rest and so you can feel recharged during your next study session. If you find yourself on YouTube or Instagram more often than not, then this Chrome extension is definitely something I would recommend. It's called Prod and basically it blocks the websites that you normally go to and doesn't allow you to visit them until you finish everything that's on your to-do list. What I really like about this is that every time you open up a new tab, it displays your to-do list right there and basically you have your to-do list visible at all times and on top of that you can't visit the websites that you normally tend to visit when you want to not be productive so it's kind of two birds in one stone in which it shows you your to-do list and it blocks the websites that you don't want to go on when you want to be productive so i hope you learned something and i hope this has somewhat helped you and i'll see you soon thanks for watching